And then, you know, finally, I think what I would ask is, uh, how do you feel that events really affect the quality and character of just life in Breckenridge? I think enormously. Yeah. Um, in, in many ways, you know, from a, a business standpoint, you know, maybe careful what you wish for. You know, maybe it's been too successful in, in some cases. I, I would say there's a strong argument for that. Right. But uh, um, from a, a community character standpoint, I mean, Breckridge is a unique place, and, and we've got a quirky way about us. And, yeah. and, and I think many of us are, are, you know, pretty adamant to, you know, fiercely protective of mm -hmm. that. And, you know, some of our silly events are... are uh, um, really fun and, yeah. and, and bring some of that character. You know, I, I think we, we have events, some of our nonprofit events mm -hmm. and, and, and some of that bring a great richness, you know, to the community and bring it togetherness to the community and ability to take care of our own in the community. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think it, it, it does a lot for the quality of life mm -hmm. in town, it, you know, and then the arts bring, um, the arts events bring, you know, um, a whole nother element of, of diversity and yeah. and uh, you know so uh, yeah I, it's a big part of who we are and what we are mm -hmm. and, and it's ever evolving you know it, it truly is I I understand there's a there's event fatigue out there on some of this stuff and um, and I think you know we're we're hearing that and we're looking at it and we're trying to do something about it it's just it's not super easy right. and I think we need to do it carefully and very thoughtfully mm -hmm. so we're we're trying to take that approach yeah. Yeah, I, and I agree with Dick. I was thinking um, when you asked the question about how the ev certain events really make Breckenridge what it is, mm -hmm. um, and some of those, some of the iconic events that you know are big, and some are little events yeah. that just they've been around for a long time, and they're kind of tradition for people who who live here, um, and there are events that our locals really enjoy yeah. i think as an, an arts event wave is one right that the locals really get into and it's great to see on social all local kids in front of different um exhibits as mm -hmm. part of of that event and so it is that balancing and understanding the diversity of our own population and mm -hmm. that some people are really um, <clears throat> intrigued by those arts events some people really enjoy the sports events and so you wouldn't want to get rid of any one category of event right. it's just really that balancing act yeah um, and also I think what's difficult f even for us to fully wrap our minds around is um, you know all the things that impact the community when an event is going on and it's oftentimes easy to point a finger at the event itself right but there could be other factors that are driving exactly. congestion driving traffic or, or whatever that might be and so that's where we're challenged to make sure we're looking at all of, you know, kind of the whole picture, all of the factors, all of the data around and try to find ways to mitigate the community concerns while making sure we still keep the vibrancy that comes along yeah. with having yeah. events. Uh, yeah, I mean, visitors plan their trips oh, around sure. events. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel that as I live here longer, my brain just starts to function <laughs> in terms of these events. So I think, oh, we're almost to Ulifest. Okay, then it'll be this. You know, right. I think everyone kind of starts to, we don't operate around the season, we operate yeah. around like the things that go on. Well, and, and think about it. I mean, how many towns are fortunate enough to have event producers like Westy yeah. who, mm -hmm. you know, puts together the, the youth mountain bike race and mm -hmm. teaches our youth how to ride, race mountain bikes by the hundreds. Right. And I'm telling you, he's not making money on that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, we're so fortunate. We have Robbie's Walk in June with BGV and yeah. we, you know, honor um, the very important citizen who we've lost to, um, who passed away years ago, and at the same time, we raised a ton of money around mm -hmm. heart health yeah. and heart health at altitude. So, it, it, you know, we're, we're very fortunate in, in how, how many people in our town are willing to roll their sleeves up and jump into these events and make them what they are. Yeah, I think that's great. We have so many great volunteers. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think of the Breck Film Fest, you think oh, of yeah. BIFA or, you know, all the right. things that require a lot of local um, human power to put on. Yeah, absolutely.